Welcome to El Mastigwig, traditional Mi'kmaq territory in the beautiful Gadamguk, Newfoundland. Let's take a moment to respectfully acknowledge the diverse histories and cultures of the Yothic, Mi'kmaq, Innu, and Inuit of this province. This is my home, and this beach holds a special place in my heart. Today, to show my respect to this land, this water, and to all things connected to this place and to each other, I will create beach art using only the things I discover here. For the beach art, I decided to begin by drawing a heart in the sand. Then a beautiful piece of driftwood caught my eye. Smoothened by the crashing waves, yet twisted and pointed at every angle, the texture reminded me of the unique and rugged beauty of this place, so I put it in the center. I then began to search for items with different textures to adorn the wood. But sadly, the colorful, dangly, fuzzy, and even sharp items I found did not belong here so I removed them. I kept only the things that belong on this beach in the art. All but one, this rock, which I'd like to pass on to my friend Marcus so that he might share with us how art connects to who we are and what we value. Hello, Gwei, Neen Delaweezy, Marcus Goss. Hello, my name is Marcus Goss, and it is great to be here with you today. I am a Mi'kmaq artist, and I use various things in my art. Two things I use that I like to talk and share with you today is uh, talking about the uh, Mi'kmaq petroglyphs and the animals in their environment, and how the Mi'kmaq connect with the environment in our art and our culture and our everyday life. So here is a bear that we call Muin. Uh, you spell it M-U-I-N, uh, but you can pronounce it uh, M-O-O-I-N, Muin. And the Muin is the bear He's trying to grab fish, but to his surprise, it's not fish, is it? It's actually water bottles. So, one thing about uh, Mi'kmaq environmentalism, if you will, or, uh, is basically that Mi'kmaq spirituality and Mi'kmaq environmental, uh, environmental uh, conservation, I guess you'd say, is that we take only what we need from the land, we respect the land, uh, we, whatever garbage we take to an area, or whatever we take to an area for food uh, for the day, we always take it home with us, okay? Including water bottles, and, um, and in fact, if you can even uh, bring water with you when fishing or berry picking, um, instead of uh, drinking water bottles or using water bottles, it's a great way to reduce our use of plastics in the environment and in the water. water. Okay, and that's really important to keep the plastics from getting into the uh, waterways. Okay, and the bear is, he will be really happy when he can get fish instead of water bottles. So that's our first thing we like to talk about. Okay, the second thing is Mi'kmaq petroglyphs. So you might say to yourself, Marcus, what's a Mi'kmaq petroglyph? 
And I would say, great question. So this one here is one of our uh, oldest petroglyphs. It's over 500 years old. And uh, this one here is located in uh, Bedford, okay? Uh, the majority of them are located in uh, Nova Scotia, or sorry, at Kejim Kujig. Um, but this one here uh, shows uh, inclusivity of all the nations on Earth uh, when it's uh, when it has the four different colors, the white, the red, the yellow, and the black, okay? It's really cool, isn't it? Look how hard it would be to carve that into, the, into a rock. And that's what a petroglyph is. It's a carving in uh, a rock, okay? Uh, this one here is, this one here is found at a park, actually. It's called Kejim Kujig. And that's where the majority of uh, the Mi'kmaq petroglyphs are found. And this one here uh, is a woman's peaked head. Men usually wear headbands and women wear these hats, which are called peaked heads. And they usually have triangular designs in them, which show water. Because women are the keepers of water. And men are the keepers of fire. So that's the woman's peaked head. And that's another petroglyph. Our last petroglyph before we do our drawing today is the moose. And it's one of my favorite petroglyphs. It's the, uh, uh, the moose in Mi'kmaq is called uh, Diom, spelled T-I-A apostrophe M. And, but you say, you say it like almost like D-I-U-M, or a lot of people, it kind of sounds like a, this uh, Dion, okay? And uh, so we're gonna draw this now. And Sarah gave me this really nice rock, uh, and I decided to paint it white, so you guys could see the background at home. Hopefully we can focus in on that. Good to show you. So it's got, an interesting kind of antlers, doesn't it? They're kind of circular, um, meant to show, I guess, the spiritual energy of the moose. Okay, so let's try to draw that. And here is the moose, okay? All right, let's try this and see how good we can do. Now, I'll try to keep it as straight as possible. Now, I'll just put T-I-A apostrophe M, and that's moose. So first, let's do the antlers. Interesting way they do them, like this. Next, we'll do his nose and mouth. And then we'll do the ears. And then he has a neck, or it has a neck just like us. So you do the neck, and then you do the back, his back, and then the back of the, the mouse, and then the belly, and then his neck on the other side. Now, how nice does that look? Now, let's put an eye in first. Put it right here. So then, there's lines that come here. And go to this part right here. There's a line that goes over here. And then you got two lines like this, probably to show the inner spirit of the animal. And then you have three lines that go over here on the back. One, two, and then I think one comes from here. Three. Okay, and there's different interpretations that you can do. Now, let's do his legs. His legs are tall and skinny, but muscular too. So that's one, two. I made that one a little too muscular. <laughs> 
Now, they put lines inside too. Amazing how they did the lines. I'm finding it her doing the lines with a marker and they did them with other rocks, pounding rocks or maybe metal that they could find. So now, right over here, let's do our legs, our back legs. So that's one, two. Interesting how they put them in the back like that, isn't it? See, am I close in the picture? <laughs> what do you give me out of 10? Okay, well thank you for joining us today. And before I forget, I just wanna say thank you for joining in and thank you to Sarah for for giving me this rock that I painted. And I'm gonna give it back to Sarah now. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone. And I hope that you enjoyed talking about the Mi'kmaq in the environment uh, and uh, Mi'kmaq petroglyphs. Have a great day. Namaltes. Talk soon. Thank you, Marcus, for sharing your knowledge of Mi'kmaq petroglyphs and how they can help us represent our connection to Mother Earth. I'd like to place this rock with beautifully painted diem back on the beach where it belongs. Maybe someone will find it and be curious to discover its meaning. Or perhaps it will inspire them to create meaningful art of their own. I hope that after this lesson, you take some time to visit your special place and think about why it is so special and how you might represent that in art of your own. Well, Leo, thank you.